Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Boyzim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a Facebook cover art in Corridor. If you're new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss my future upload. The size I'm going to be using for this tutorial is 851 pixels by 314 pixels. If you don't know how to change that, under your property bar, select drawing unit and select pixels. Then change your size to 851 by 3. 14. So over here guys is the stock photo I'm going to be using for this tutorial and these are the wordings I've typed out for this tutorial and the logo So guys the first thing we're going to do is double click on our rectangle to place it over here this way Remove the outline and right click on this select combat to curve Select shape to and what I'm going to do is drag this over here and drag this knot over here this way so this is what you're going to have next thing I'm going to do is select my freehand tool and draw this way So this is what you are going to have. Select your shape to place a node over here and drag this this way. So the next thing I'm going to do is select my freehand tool and draw this way. So finally this is what you're going to have. The next thing we're going to do is bring in this picture and place it over here. Now right click on it and select power clip inside. Place it to the first shape this way. Right click on it and select edit power clip. As you can see guys the image is facing the left so what I'm going to do is under your property bar select mirror and use horizontal to flip it this way now adjust it to fit in the shape close it so this is what you're going to have all right guys so the next thing I'm going to do is select my interactive field tool and draw this way to place a color Select this and change the color to a dark blue. And select this one and give it a lighter blue. Same here, select your interactive filter and drag over here. Change this color to blue, dark one, and change this one to a light blue. So this is what you're going to have. Select everything and remove the outline this way. So what we're going to do now is Select our interactive field tool and also place a color over here. Drag this way and give this one a dark blue. Select this and use light blue. And now um, this is what you are going to have. Now duplicate this right angle to place another one making two remove the outline 
Now select everything. This way, this is what you're going to have. Now, when I click on it and select power clip, place everything inside this rectangle. So, automatically, everything is now inside this rectangle. So, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is select this and give it a gray color this way. Select and use your interactive field to drag this way. Under your property bar, select elliptical fountain fill, then drag, adjust it. You can play around it anyhow you want it to look like. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is select my rectangle and drag this way. Give it a dark gray. Remove the outline. If I click on it, select convert to curve and select shape to delete this node, drop the tool using your pick tool, select your transparency tool and drag over here. This way. So guys, as you can see, we have like another shade like a glass effect you can actually duplicate this this way and bring it here select this boat and select the boat object right click and select sparkling place it inside now the next thing we're going to do is bring in this boy, which is the text. Select this, cut it up using Control X on your keyboard, Control V to paste. Now scale it, change the font. The font I'm going to use here is called Railway, but well, it looks cool. So the color I'm going to use here is blue. Let's see it over here. Get this boys and cut it this way. Place them here. It's just a random text, okay? So I just typed it for the sake of this tutorial, alright? Horizontal alignment select full justify, and this is what you're going to have. And I'm going to select this boy and cut it up, place it here. Use your rectangle tool and drag over here. Select your shape tool, drag this knot inside to get a perfect round shape color. Now give it a color this way, remove the outline and um, what we're going to do is select our interactive field tool guys to give it a shade color like a cool gradient this way guys. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is give it an outline white. Alright, so select your shadow and drag this way. Now place this contact us here and give it a white color, bold it, select shift F3, change to uppercase. And this is what you're gonna have. All right, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, import a phone icon and a website icon. 
And I think I had this, this one, and um, this one. All right, so this is what you're gonna have here. It's under your menu bar, select bitmap mode, black and white. Conversation mode, choose line art, click OK. Under your property bar, select trace bitmap, then outline trace, line art. Wait a while for it to load. Remove this and delete this one, which we don't want. As you can see, we have white, white, white. Ungroup it, select this way and delete so guys do the same thing to this one this way this way wait for the boy to load all right this is what you're gonna have guys click ok and remove this delete this one send it to its fatherland and reduce this one so guys, all I need in here is this one, this is what I need. So this is a random number guys, and this is a website which have not been launched. I don't know who owns it, so don't check it out. Alright guys, this stock photos, I'm going to put the link on the description below. If you want to try this design out, you can use it, put the download link where you can get the stock photos all right so if you want to follow up with this design you can check it out guys all right so i'm going to place this over here and place this one here so guys this is what we're going to have the next thing we're going to do is bring in this logo and Basically, I'm gonna leave this here. All right, guys. So last, 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 last. This is what you're gonna have. If you have question, if you're confused in any way, guys, you can drop me a comment in the comment section below. Don't worry. Everything I use here, I'm gonna put the link on the description below for you to download. If you wanna follow up with this design, guys, if you love this video, I believe you love it. So smash the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye.